Hi guys, thank you all for tuning in to Big Mama Story Time. Story time! Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, comment to my page. Here we go! Hi guys, thank you all for tuning in to Big Mama Story Time on today. Today I will be reading to you guys Garfield Scary Tales. Y'all is getting close to Halloween, so I wanted to bring out some Halloween books for y'all. All right, let's get into this. Garfield Scary Tales. Created by Jim Davis, written by Jim Craft, and illustrated by Mike Fitz. Let's get it. Let's get into this. The Midnight Stalker. Here we are, boys, said John to Garfield and Odie as he drove the car up a gravel driveway. Garfield opened his eyes at the end of the drive, stood a two-story building of dark, rough stone. A sign out front read, Wary Inn, established 1837. This place is supposed to have lots of atmosphere, said John. That means lumpy old beds and outside bathrooms, grumbled Garfield. A bearded man came out to greet them. Welcome. I'm Peter Wary. My great-great-great-grandfather built this inn. By any chance, did he build a burger world out back? Asked Garfield. I'm hungry. You'll be staying one night, Mr. Arbuckle. Right, replied John. We're just driving through. You do allow pets, don't you? Oh, yes, said Mr. Wary. I have a cat of my own, but we recommend that you keep your pets. In the room, especially on a night like tonight, there's going to be a full moon. We've had a few problems during the full moon. It's really nothing to worry about, just that a few pets have met with some rather nasty accidents. Like what? asked John. Let's just say that your cat might make a tempting treat for something out there. That's it? We're out of here said Garfield. John had to pry Garfield's paws off the dashboard, but he finally got the cat out of the car and into the room. Stop being such a scaredy cat, said John. John, they just said that your cat, he, we would get eaten. I would do the same thing. <laughs> there isn't a motel for a hundred miles. We'll just have to stay here tonight. Okay, replied Garfield, but if I get eaten, I'm going to be very grumpy in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> After they had finished dinner, Garfield curiously poked his way around the old inn. In the parlor, he discovered another cat perched on the windowsill. The cat wore a leather collar with a gold nameplate that said, Beazle. If you're thinking about going out, I wouldn't, said Garfield. Then you've heard about it, said Beazle. Pretty frightening, said Garfield. When you've lived here as long as I have, you get used to it. Still, I'm never quite myself when there's a full moon. You live here, said Garfield. Then you must know all about this thing. What is it? No one knows for sure, replied Beazel. Maybe it's just a figment of the imagination. Would a figment eat a bulldog? Garfield gulped. Nice talking to you, Beazel. He said, I'm going up to bed. Beazle gave a half smile, then turned his head to stare at the rising moon. That night, John and Odie slept soundly, but Garfield lay on the bed wide awake. I would too, Garfield, okay? The longer he lay awake, the hungrier he got. I don't care how hungry you get, Garfield said to his tummy. No way am I getting out of this bed. But in the end, Garfield's appetite was stronger than his fear. I'll just grab some food from the kitchen and race right back here, Garfield decided. He slipped off the bed and out the, out the door, carefully checking everything in front of him and behind him. Garfield padded quickly down the hall. The old house, which had been creaking all night, seemed suddenly still. Almost there, Garfield told himself. Crossing the parlor, he saw the empty window sill where Beazel had been sitting. The memory of their conversations made Garfield shiver. Boom! With a shriek. 
Garfield leaped onto the parlor chandelier, but the noise was only the old grandfather clock chiming midnight. <laughs> oh, he's scared, scared. I would be too, Garfield, okay? <clears throat> I'll get you for that, Grandpa, Garfield said to the clock. At last, he reached the kitchen and he yanked open the refrigerator door. Yellow light spilled across the floor, throwing huge shadows on the walls. On the top shelf, that, uh, on the top shelf was a banana cream pie. This will do, said Garfield, snatching up the pie. I hate to eat and run, so I'll run first, then eat. As he turned, Garfield suddenly saw two burning red eyes staring at him from the shadows. Above the eyes, two long, pointed ears twitched excitedly. Garfield's hair stood on end. With an evil hiss, the shadowy thing moved toward him. Garfield caught a glimpse of listening teeth and long, jagged claws. A bit of gold gleamed at its neck. Garfield tried to scream, but his scream died of fright before it ever left his throat. He could think of only one thing to do. With all the strength he could summon, he hurled the banana cream pie at that thing. The monster recoiled in surprise, and Garfield dashed past it. Running faster than he had ever run, Garfield raced upstairs and into the room. He slammed the door and dove into the bed, knocking John and Odie off the other side. Next morning, Mr. Wary's asked John, have a good sleep? My cat went crazy, but that's not unusual, replied John. Sometimes something made a banana cream mess in our kitchen, said Mr. Wary. Maybe the monster stopped by for dessert. Yeah, like a slice of Garfield said Garfield. Garfield couldn't wait for John to pack the car. He humped the horn impatiently. Finally, John climbed behind the wheel and started the engine. The car moved down the drive. The last thing Garfield saw was Beezle staring hungrily at him from the parlor window, the sunlight twinkling on the little golden nameplate at his neck. Um, that was Beezle. Y'all, that was Beezle. <laughs> All right, guys, that was, oh, it was, it's multiple passages in here, I see. So that was the Midnight Stalker. All right, guys, so next one I will be reading will be the surprise package, you guys. I thank you guys for tuning in to Big Mama Storytime. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, comment to my page. All right, guys, bye.